Uh, so Scott and Lisa, and then we have Tyler, Tony, and Trevor. Um, this is truly a, a family deal. What were you thinking seven years ago when you decided you wanted to go into the restaurant business? I was unemployed and needed a job. <laughs> so? So why not start a bar or restaurant? Before I turned 50 was the goal. And we opened up here four months before I turned 50. We should make mention that the north side location is brand new, but it's a hundred and it's a hundred yards from your last location, so you really didn't have to do much advertising. No, you probably hit a waste to the old location. <laughs> well, maybe you could. I, he plays a lot of golf. Guys, my north side crew, um, I've known you guys for a long time. And now, how's it been going? Because now the kids are running the roost. Right. And I don't know, it's been pretty good. I enjoy it. Uh, with all family business, it has its ups and downs, but mostly ups here. Yeah, it's been fun. How's the kid? I mean, you've got a brand new kitchen out of this. Busy. It is. <laughs> it's okay. always running. I'm going to switch places now. We're going to go from North Side, which is where we are right now. <laughs> Let's go to the South Hill. <laughs> Mr. Hey, we opened up the doors and got slammed like we couldn't believe for weeks at a time. Yes. So dad says it's calmed down. It has calmed down. Okay. We're still busy all the time. Tell me a little bit about what people need to know about the South Hill if they want to go see it. There's nothing like what we do up there and out here, for a matter of fact. I mean, the best place to get food, best place to get drinks, great deals on everything. Now, his words are upscale pub food. I, I don't know. This is, it's pub and it's good food. We call it, it it's an American sports pub is really what it is. We've got yeah. plenty of TVs for the sports-minded people. Uh, but we don't skimp on our ingredients with the food that, that we serve. It's, uh, you'll find plates that other people serve, but we do it our own way. Best liked item on the menu. It does not necessarily always the, the highest seller. What's the best liked? Oh. Uh, the eggs? Those. Uh, uh, I've been, our clam chowder, I've been told, is the best anywhere. Okay. Uh, proud of that. Chili is another one that, that, that nothing's canned. We you know, make our own stuff. Uh, we got one of the best Rubens I've ever had. Uh, fish and chips, our own battery with a Scotch ale. Right. Uh, so I mean, it's a little. There's a little bit of everything for everybody. Now I want to take you into the next room, and we're going to make one of those wonderful transitions. But you have one of the best whiskey selections in town. Yes. Behind me is one of the largest selections of whiskeys, and I'm not going to say I've been around, but I've been around. Um, why so many? What? Um, well, it's just kind of a point of pride for us. I mean, we started out as an English club, but we developed into more of a um, Irish club. And as we got more space, once we came up here, we started bringing on different types of scotch, uh, which happened to be a personal preference of mine. Right. Um, we've got about 500 years worth of scotch up there. Um, 500 years worth of scotch. I like how he puts that. It's all aged. Yep. You know, and there's not one bottle. There's several, but they're all aged. Okay. We're one of three bars in Spokane that has uh, over 100 years between Balvenie and Glenfiddich scotches. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. 